All right, so we got Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2. This is the new uh, series after Bendis left. You know Bendis was writing him for a long time. And I got to admit, like, it was stale for a long time because of Bendis. And uh, they put Ahmed Saladin on it, who's a real jerk. I got to tell you, that guy's a jerk online. But, you know, he can write when he wants to. I hear his Black Bolt series was really good. So I had some skepticism when I heard he was on there because he likes to get political. His Exile series got real political. When that could have just been a fun series about universal hopping. However, it looks like he's going to actually try and do a good job on this book because the first two issues have been really good. Now, it's tough to tell with the Marvel series. We don't know until like the fifth or the sixth issue where they're going to go with it. But if he stays on this track, this book could end up being really good. Miles has more of a personality now. He's not like some just default setting character running around like Bendis wrote him. And he kind of lines up with how he is almost personality-wise in the movie, which I like. And the art, man. I got to tell you, this art is fantastic. Look at this. This is amazing art. I really, really dig this book. Like, look how good that looks. So one of the cool things about this past two issues that I've really liked is that him and the Rhino have teamed up. So one of the kids that got kidnapped is a, is a cousin to a friend of his. I don't know if he's sweet on her or not. I think he is. And then Rhino, his ex-wife, his, his, her, her niece is missing too. So they're kind of working together, which is really cool. It's a cool dynamic that the two of them are working together, you know. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything like that in a long time. But the art really tells it. Man, you know, it's such a rarity that you get good art and a good book, like a good story at the same time. And uh, that's really something good. So, yeah, I don't know. What is his name? Javier Garon? Man, this dude. I don't know. Was he? What else has he done? This guy's a great artist. I'm really blown away by his art. It's so nice because Marvel just cheaps out all the time. All the time. So once again, i got to give credit where it's due to this Nick Lowe guy. He's the uh, editor, probably the head editor of the Spider-Man books. And what a, what a, like, this dude actually seems to care because Venom, uh, Superior Spider-Man, Miles, amazing, all good. The only one that's questionably kind of crap is Friendly Neighborhood. But the majority are great books. So, anyway... Yeah, I'll give this book four, for real. If you just want the number before I go into it and spoil stuff, I give this a four out of five, for real. This this book's great. I'm going to put this in my pull list now, actually. It's going in there. Uh, I'm going to give it, you know, if it turns around at five and it's garbage, then I'll shred it. But let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff. So they're going around. They uh, Miles finds a lead because he has Genki helping him. And Genki finds a lead to where... Uh, to where the uh, the kids are captured, he, they find uh, you know some uniforms got shipped to this warehouse, and it turns out like Tombstone is behind it, and this is really cool too. I like this banter. They he writes them with good chemistry. I like it because like Rhino's roasting him the whole time because like you know <laughs> at the first time when they're hanging out like my like the sun's coming up and Miles like you know I gotta go. He's gotta go to school, and he's like. <laughs> How old are you, kid? And Miles is like, none of your damn business. But he shows up late. He's like, 20 minutes later, so mommy and daddy gave you permission. And he's like, just don't. And like, you kids are too damn sensitive. Like, I thought that was good. But like, um, they're going on and like, like he doesn't want to have Rhino smash the city up while he's running. So he carries him the whole way. And then Tombstone is the one that's buying those kids. And we get a really cool fight between Rhino and uh, and Spider-Man and Tombstone. And they do some good tag team work, which was really cool to see. It was a fun fight. And at first, they tripped up. Like, they didn't have any teamwork. They, they were just kind of fighting him at the same time. They ended up kind of getting each other's way. So they, eventually, they figured that out. And then Tombstone, of course, got away, you know. And 
they find those kids, and as you can see there, it's not just one group. They're not going that way, so it looks like it's just going to be just kids are getting snatched up, which, I mean, that's a, that's a fine story. I just didn't want it to be like, you know, Yo, grabbing the immigration and we're doing that. Like, no one, come on, man. Don't alienate your audience. You want to have like some of them like that, but it's mostly just kids. That's that's fine. Everyone hates people that harm kids. It's a story that makes you want to see some justice at the end. Like everyone wants to see that justice. So that's a good plot element. And then what's cool is Captain America shows up to help him. So he was investigating too. And then the next issue has them working together. So that's really, that's a good solid start to get you kind of hooked on the book, which is what it should do, right? So we've got up to the first five issues to see where this is going to go. You know, is it going to get political or is it just going to tell a good story like it's doing? That will be, oh God, come on, Marvel, will you stop? Like, look at this fingerprint just from holding the book. They just, they got to be cheap on everything. At least this is good. So hopefully it'll remain good. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, this series if it stays good. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this review. Let me know what you're thinking about this book. Uh, sh throw a like up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out the links in the description. Got a link to my Patreon. Got a link to my streamy. And I will see you guys on the next one.